No matter how much things may change, they remain the same. Change. What is it about change that makes people so afraid? Is it the fear of the unknown? Or could it simply be the discomfort in adapting to new ways? Maybe it's that things are perfectly fine and we don't see a need for change Or could it be that on the surface we're blind and too distracted to see the change Oh, oh, cause believe you me, things have changed Just look at the errors prior to ours where inspired by God They literally laid their life on the line despite all the eyes so we could be free to change or, or, or look at the era prior to theirs where inspired by fear They stood up the massa despite all the lashes just so we could be free from change Oh yeah, it's need for change And with history having to history of repeating itself I'm just trying to understand why we screaming for help and all along the way we seeking this help from all these other people and still it's like we willing to change everything but ourselves Um, to me, change means making a difference, um, being better than you were before, um, recognizing that um, there is a problem and being a solution to that problem. I'm Shannon Harper. I am the Youth Development Specialist here at the Making a Change Group. So I myself was a troubled youth, giving my mom a hard time, out here doing whatever I thought I was grown enough to do. It was somebody who stepped in for me and helped my mom and was more like a mentor to me that made me want to get into this line of work. So ultimately, would you say mentorship changed your life? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because I always think I wouldn't be as far as I was if someone didn't step in. You don't want that to be the, the standpoint. You be the one who brought the thing to school. You don't True. need that. That's why I'm about to give you our information for our Thursdays, where I'm the, I'm the person behind the scenes. These gentlemen, one of the, this is one of the gentlemen right here that this our G's mentor and G's, where you come in and you got some real good, solid men talking to you. The kids can get into so much stuff now, whereas when I was younger, the worst thing I got into was some fights in school, in the neighborhood, to getting in trouble in school. A little misguided on my end. The kids today, it's more opportunities for them to get into trouble. If I learn anything from detention, is these kids really, really want somebody to talk to. Now, I'm not one to lose hope. I keep on hoping. And I still have faith in the future. But I've had to analyze many things over the last few years, and I would say over the last few months. And I've gone through a lot of soul-searching and agonizing moments. And I've come to see that uh, we have uh, many more difficult days ahead and some of the old optimism was a little superficial. And this is where we're getting our greatest resistance. They may put it on many other things, but we can't get rid of slums and poverty without it costing the nation something. 